what is it at the moment that you do? Do you, do you still see clients? What sort of clients that you that you help the most? So I am still seeing um, clients, uh, but it's via via Zoom, obviously because of the COVID restrictions. Um, I do try to keep clients to a minimum, uh, so I can make sure that I'm as focused as I can on them. So um, I'll have a couple of clients on the go at one time, and a lot of the time I do have one client who is um, free that I'll do free. I, love, I, I enjoy giving back, so that's always quite nice. And I tend to work with clients with sort of anxiety issues predominantly. Um, I do have an own niche that um, I do have that you can access and read about on the website, but predominantly it is anxiety, but I'll work with anybody. Um, it's, it's finding the right rapport, though, so it's really important that the client wants to work with me and feels that rapport before we move forward. Do you tend to see more male or female clients? Because obviously um, a, a lot of the, the stuff that I've seen online is that there is not enough uh, for for men and for men to come forward is is that sort of your experience that's really interesting actually I've only ever had one male client um so I don't know if that's just you know women are drawn to to me as a therapist um yes yeah, so I'm not sure if, if, if the women are drawn to me because of um uh, something I give out um but it's not intentional I've not really had very, very many male clients and it's just who's come to me really um so I haven't gone out searching for clients they do tend to come come to me quite naturally so what's your kind of quest your story because you 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 studied at quest and how how did you found out about the quest and what 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 kind of made you study at quest instead of other hypnotherapy school well I met an incredibly lovely lady called Jill Brown who was a questie and we were on a training group together and she was sort of talking to me about what she did and how it worked and I was fascinated and I'd had therapy myself when I was younger after a bereavement and I knew I always wanted to go into therapy because it is just a form of giving back and when Jill started talking to me about quest I was thinking wow this sounds amazing. So as soon as I met her, I went online, registered, and I met Bex and got on the course, and it was life-changing. It was absolutely brilliant. I just met some amazing people. Um, you do a lot of work on yourself as well while you're training. So um, it was serendipitous, I would say, that I met somebody that was a questie, and it was just meant to be. So you mentioned that uh, most of your clients that you work with, you help uh, around sort of anxiety, because um, I think I, I believe, you know, knowing the statistic that anxiety is quite a, um, you know, there is a lot of issues around anxiety and a lot of people, especially with COVID, I suppose, um, struggle with anxiety. So if there is someone who's maybe watching this, this recording, and they struggle with anxiety and they don't know what to do about it. If there was maybe, you know, a tip or tool or something that you could share with them, what would it be? Mm. So first of all, I'd want them to know that they're perfectly normal and they're not alone. There are thousands upon thousands of people that experience anxiety, um, so perfectly normal. Um, one thing I like to do is a fourfold breath technique. Um, so it's imagining um, a color, a really comforting color that makes you feel safe. And then you're closing your eyes and you're breathing in for four. And as you breathe in for four, you're imagining that color entering your body. And then as that color enters your body, it moves up and down as you hold for four. And then you're breathing it out on four and then holding for four. So breathing this lovely color in and just noticing the changes that are happening as you breathe it in this lovely safe color and holding for four and then breathing out for four, just relaxing and holding for four and then breathing it in again. And it's, um, it's amazing how time can just slow down. When you're in this moment, it takes you out of one state and into another. 
And this colour can change how you're thinking and feeling just because you're feeling different because it's moving around you, it's changing things inside you. So it's a really beautiful, simple technique that you can do at any time wherever you are.